and Frida, one of the Gorgie farm spinners. That's the group which promotes traditional crafts such as spinning and weaving. Today I'm going to show you some spinning of alpaca and here we have some alpaca fleece just as it is when it's come off, been shown off the animal. This is in fact some fleece from an alpaca from Love, which you can see down at Love Gorky Farm. Now, you can see there's bits of vegetable matter in it. It looks dusty and a bit dirty in places, um, but it's not really very dirty. The next step, we take some of the fleece and we put on these tools here called carders. And you, you can see I've already started it. And what you do is you card the fleece gets rid of some of the vegetable matter and some of the dust and when you've done that a little bit you roll it off into these wonderful little rolls here they're really soft and lovely and they're known as roll eggs and if you see just by carding it you've got rid of some of the dust they're so much lighter and this is what we used to spin from we pull it out gradually and that's how we what we make the yarn from now, I'll show you here the end product, which is this. Here's a skein of alpaca. This is alpaca yarn that I've hand spun and washed, steeped it in hot water and soap for a while to make sure I got rid of all the dust and so on. And it is absolutely beautifully, beautifully soft. A pack is highly sought after and I think that's because of the softness, the lightness and also the warmth that it holds. Now, I'm going to leave that just here and the next stage I'll show you a little bit of spinning. Here we have a wheel and if you come and have a look here, there's two petals here that's attached to the wheel. Um, and on the wheel is a drive band so when I pedal it drives the wheel and the, it turns this part up here where my bobbin is which winds on the yarn as I'm producing it as I'm spinning it this is a modern foldable and portable wheel which suits me. At Gorgi we have some Ashford traditional wheels which are really good and good to learn on. Now I've attached one of the roll eggs on and I am spinning the yarn by pulling it out, controlling the twist that it puts into the fleece and makes this single yarn and I hold on carefully, not too tight, to the fleece down here with my right hand and limit the amount I let out. As we continue to spin this, it winds onto the bobbin out there and produces the first part of the yarn. Now with alpaca, we need to be careful we don't put too much twist in it because we want to maintain the softness that the fleece has. So you can see I'm not pedaling very fast. Now once you've finished spinning enough and filled the bobbin to the point that you want to, then you do another one. And if you see down here, in this part of the wheel. We've got one which is quite full and we've got one I need to work more on but in principle you put the two singles, the two strands of yarn together and you ply them together, you spin them together in the same way as if you spin the singles here and it fills off on the bobbin here. Um, and that produces the end product of the yarn. Now, you could see I, when I was spinning the singles here, I was spinning clockwise, yeah? And that's what I do. 
uh, it's not really important which direction you spin in, except that if you spin clockwise, you have to ply or spin the two strands together, ply it together by spinning anti-clockwise or vice versa if you do it the other way around. Spinning is such a lovely activity. It's very restful, peaceful. It gives you a rest from the usual challenges in life and uh, it might be things to do with work or family life or even thinking about what you're going to make for dinner. It's not magic but it gives you a wee bit of rest from it, from all those kind of life challenges and you return being refreshed, able to sort of deal with things in a refreshed manner. This is an activity that is for everybody. It's not particularly challenging, needs a little bit of patience and you can learn it quite quickly and, and you get a wonderful end product like this beautiful soft yarn. Now, like everybody else, we miss Love Boggy Farm but when it opens again, we are there on a Friday from 10 to 12, spinning, teaching people to spin, who are interested in learning to spin. Pop in and see what we're doing and have a go, either at wheel spinning or spinning on a spin ball, maybe alpaca or maybe fleece for sheep. Um, but remember, it is an activity for anybody. People could try and have a go and see how it works for them. Come and see us then.